Hello my friends, welcome to another video and this time around I'm going to talk about Givenchy Incense Ultramarine Concentration Eau de Toilette. This is a fragrance from the house of Givenchy that uh, first came to the market in 1994 and is considered to be a uh, fruity aromatic type of fragrance. It's a very interesting fragrance with some very interesting notes inside and uh, with a very good performance also. I would say that this is a more mature type of fragrance, so uh, not really for the younger crowds, but still very interesting uh, concept and uh, to me it resembles a lot to the powerhouses from the 70s, 80s in terms of uh, notes breakdown and uh, also the way that uh, this fragrance, um, I don't know, uh, sends a message to everyone around you. It's a very macho type uh, of fragrance, if you want, but uh, not uh, in the same way with, uh, I don't know, Kuros from uh, Yves Saint Laurent, with uh, Tad Lapidus Puron and, uh, I don't know, Tsar from uh, Van Cleef and Arpel. It's a bit sub subtle in um, the projection compared to those ones, but still it also performs really well, really nice, with good projection. But as I said, it's a more mature type of fragrance. So not really for the younger clouds, uh, crowds, if you ask me. We have uh, black currant, galbanum, bergamot and watermelon in the opening notes. We have carnation, magnolia, iris, mint, sage, lily of the valley and cardamom in the heart notes. And in the base notes, we have cedar, tobacco and vetiver. So a very interesting note breakdown, some very interesting notes inside, such as uh, tobacco, also magnolia, mint, um, black currant, and of course the watermelon. So how does it smell? Well, actually it smells interesting, at least to me, to my nose and on my skin. It smells really interesting. You are uh, greeted with a uh, huge blast of uh, bergamot in the opening and uh, black currant. You also get a huge uh, pinch of mint and um, clary sage. And in the hard notes, you get a lot of uh, the florals and a huge blast of cardamom. The cardamom in this fragrance is very powerful. It basically takes control in the heart notes combined with um, all the other notes, with uh, the notes from the opening, with the bergamot, with the mint, with uh, uh, the watermelon and also with the floral notes such as the magnolia, the iris, the carnation and it becomes something very, very oriental, very aromatic. It's almost burning your uh, your nose if you want it's very punchy it's very refreshing at the same time and somewhat warm and all of this comes with a uh, small amount of tobacco unfortunately or at least this is uh, the problem that I have with this fragrance on my skin, because the tobacco note is not as present as I would like on my skin. Though I do get a lot of vetiver uh, from this one, and I also get a lot of um, uh, cedar at the same time. But the tobacco note, I would have preferred it to be a lot more present, such as it is in Aramis uh, Tobacco Reserve. A fragrance that I um, reviewed uh, recently on my channel, which is an amazing, amazing uh, tobacco uh, scent that I highly recommend you. But in this one, I don't get the same feeling. It's very subtle and uh, the vetiver takes control of the dry down, if you want. The vetiver combined with the cedar. It's an interesting fragrance. It's fruity in the opening. It's very spicy. Um, if you want, or punchy in uh, the middle, in the hard notes, and it's woody uh, in the dry down. So it's not a linear type of fragrance. I wouldn't say that it's very unique also, 
but still it performs really well on my skin. I usually get 8 to 10 hours in longevity with a very good projection for the first 3 to 4 hours. And in terms of uh, complements, well, depends on the crowd. If you are with uh, more mature uh, uh, con consumers or uh, people around you, they would appreciate this type of fragrance. If you are with younger crowds, then they may not appreciate this fragrance as much. It simply depends on uh, on what you like, uh, on how you like to smell, uh, what type of fragrances you love. Me personally, I don't like it too much, but I uh, don't dislike it either. I'm somewhere in between with this one. Still a great scent, very good performance, very interesting uh, notes inside, very interesting uh, changes throughout uh, the wearing of this uh, fragrance throughout the day. And uh, as I said, you might give it a try, you may like it, but uh, I highly encourage you to give it a try if you have the opportunity and not uh, blind buy it. You may not like it if you blind buy it. So be advised, go to a perfume shop or a scent store, I don't know. And if they have it uh, there, give it a try. It's the best way to save some money. This pretty much does it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. As always, be safe, be good.